Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard and I hope you're doing well today. I'm going to be starting a Spellbinders series. I also have a Sizzix series, so you can check out that playlist of highlighting Sizzix dies. Um, I don't know if you guys have this one. I had not heard of this one. This is number S4-610 and it's from Designer Series Wedding Collection from Amazing Paper Grace. And it's called The Lady Shoe and it has five pieces in there. It makes these gorgeous little shoes, and I have to tell you, it's so cute. <laughs> and with wedding season upon us, I don't know if you have this in your stash, or if you can find it on Amazon or whatnot, or Walmart or something like that, but it makes the cutest shoe. And you can do so many things with this. Of course, on the front of their card, they have two shoes there. I made a card to highlight something from for another video, but I'll show it to you here. I made this card, and um, it's a fun purple and gray and white, and this is like a lacy gray and lace paper, and uh, it says thanks so much, but you can easily make this into a wedding or a shower card, and it's just very, very delicate and pretty, and look at the dimension on that. Uh, very, very cute super cute super cute all right so I thought we would put the other shoe together here on camera so um, I've got the parts so what you need to do is cut out if, that, if this is how you want to make it um, the shoe top part which is this and the bottom the sole and the little strap are out of the same paper this is a Nina sort of silver pearlescent paper and then I took the inside sole and the bow piece will be out of this pale blue and you're gonna need a uh, fine tip glue because <laughs> it's a very um, some little tiny spots here and then we'll put a little pearl in there so I'm using some art glitter a dries clear adhesive and I've got a fine tip on there so first things first to put this together I had to watch a video because it's not intuitive and actually the instructions I got with it were for uh, um, I took it out, but it was for a totally different die. So go figure. I wasn't sure why I was supposed to do that. So first thing you need to do is just simply layer these on. That's easy enough. These are so cute. And there's so many things you can do to decorate these shoes. You can make them into, you know, lots of different styles. This, this is a more formal style, but you can easily make them into whatever. Okay. Then I'm just going to put a little bead of glue just right there to put our little ankle strap on there. And we'll let that dry while we make our other thing there. Let me get my glue off. Okay, and then you just leave that dimensional like that. Okay, set that aside. Also, actually, let's do our um, bow. I'm going to go ahead and use a thin paintbrush. We want to round the bow so it's kind of an all-in-one bow okay so we're gonna round this and we're gonna bend these back so um, I find it helpful just to kind of bend them now okay that way they'll easily go and then you just want to kind of train the paper to go that way I'm going to put on the back here just a little bit of glue and then we're going to, these are going to be out, so you're going to have kind of a U shape like this, it's like upside down alpha. Okay, and then we're going to go, to, without squashing the bow, <laughs> we're just going to put the middle down and we're just going to hold it there for a second. kind of just using my thumbnail to kind of pinch in the middle because I'm trying not to squash my little uh, guys there so you gotta wait for that to dry so this piece here has score lines and then this score line so this particular one we want to go ahead and just score flat you can use a bone folder if you've got that handy 
Okay. And then this is our pointed foot. So we want to go ahead and bend that round. And then don't quite have to squash that down because we kind of want it to look like that's our shoe and then we're just going to put glue on that back flap and then we're going to let that dry so once you have that made you're going to go ahead and slip our sole in there so you want the glue so we're going to be doing this with it so you want the glue to be on the back piece, not on this front, okay? So just on this lower back half, just like that. And we're going to slide that in, just like so. So you see, you don't want the glue to come past that point. And we still want this to be open, so it looks like a shoe. It has dimension. I mean, you could glue it down flat if you wanted to, but <laughs> uh, it won't quite have as much dimension as maybe is intended. Um, right, you can always stick your bone folder in there if you need extra help smoothing that down. Okay, so now we have this. You could put flowers along here, you could do all sorts of things, you don't have to use the bow. Um, but the bow is so cute. So we've got our bow, we're going to put glue on the bottom of that, and we're going to put just a little bit down from the top here. I just have some pearls here from Stampin' Up. We're going to go ahead and put um, a little pearl on the back of, or in the middle of our, let me make sure I have the right size pearl here. Okay, I'm just going to kind of press that down. Again, something that's <laughs> skinnier than my finger. A little beautiful pair of shoes. Isn't that adorable? I just love those. Yay, spellbinders. Very, very pretty. So it is an older, what year is this? Um, copyright 19, 20, 2015. 1915. <laughs> yeah. uh, 2015. So it is an older die um, that I just happened to see when I was looking for something else and so I went ahead and grabbed it and I just fell in love with it and again here's my card that I showed you earlier and uh, that's going to be in another uh, video as well so um, for my Simon Says Stamp cards so you might want to hit the subscribe button so you'll be in the loop for upcoming videos but so much fun guys so many things you can do with that I hope you enjoyed that video take a look in your stash and see what dyes you have Get them out and play with them and make something beautiful today. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day.